Captain and the Parent, and the terrifying return of Tippy Twinkle Trouser. Chapter 20, 20, uh, 23, Thursday. Things were back to normal on Tuesday. Kipper stood in front of school and made every kindergartner hand over the lunch money. Things are going to change round hair, Kipper told the kindergarten starting tomorrow. The tax going up. Your kids are going to pay me four bucks a day. Or it's wedgie time. Kipper Reefer watched the skate down from the distance. Finally, they approached Kipper nervously. Dude said, Lukey, what are you doing, man? I'm taking back what rightfully mine, said Kipper, but Oh, but aren't you scared of the ghost of Wedgie Match? G. S. Bug. Oh, I know she's dumb. There's no ghost of Wedgie Match. You. There's no ghost of Wedgie Match. You modern. You moron, yeah, Kip, Joe Kipper, it's all set up. I figure it's out last night. Somebody had been picking my padlock and putting stuff in my locker. But who would do that? Asked Lugie. The same person who had been writing those stupid texts on my phone, said the Kipper. How, said Luigi. Said the Kipper, but it's all going but to... But it's all going to end today. How, said Luigi. I got a new padlock, said Kipper. He reached into his pocket and pulled out a brand new Zappa Dupa Kumpu Lock 20,000. 20, 20,000. The four friends walked into the school and headed for the locker. Kipper unlocked his old lock padlock. Old, old locker. Headed for the locker. Mm -hmm. The four friend walk up into school and head for the padlock and threw it in the garbage can along with the key with the key with, along with the key 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 around his sweetie neck. Then Kipper put all his papers. It shut, shut. 
let's see somebody trying to mess with me. At noon, where do pizza delivery guy show up for lunch for the kindergarten sinners? Clipper stop him in the hallways. We'll take those pieces, said Clipper. But I'm supposed to, to deliver them to the kindergartens, said the pizza delivery guy. We'll do it for you, said Clipper. Sorry, you said a delivery guy. I got two strict instructions from Wedge Magic to Oh, Uncle Benny. But, but, uh, he's Benny Kurt. And, uh, and now, some, now it, now he, uh, remember, uh, in one of the book. In this book, Poopy Professor Poopy Pants said, uh, you, "You said what's your name? Your first name?" He said Benny, and then Kerp said Benny, and then Poopy Pants just said, uh, "Then find a B on his chart," and he find it. And there's a something said Loopy, and there's said Loopy, and now his name become Loopy Curb. Keeper <laughs> yelled. Mister Curb, bounding up the hallway, boom, 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 boom. What seemed to seem? What seemed to the problem, Keeper? He asked the guy delivering pizza to the kindergarten nurse, said Gipper. He's not allowed to do that. Do that? Absolutely not, said Principal Kerr. Those kids are on silent. See, the Kipper to delivery guy. Now give me those. Kipper crew took the pizza and a pop away from the delivery guy. They brought it straight to the kindergartner table to the cafeteria. They started stuffing their face. Mmm, said Kipper to the hungry kindergartner. This pizza is so tasty, the poor Barbara just her ate whole pizza between them and finished up off 14 cans of pop. They all they still stole all their leftover to some of the students. Too bad that kindergartners can't buy any, but they don't have any money, do they? George and Harold were heartbroken. They already seen Kipper new padlock. And then they see never left Kipper hand till he lock it. But not for, even for a second. Well, the Harold sadly, I guess this jig, jig is a, nothing and over till we say it's over, said George. We've got to think of something else and quick. Thanks for watching. Bye.